as you know, I'm on drugs, and that drug is Janet Prince. <laughs> That was my tribute really? to Charlie Sheen. <laughs> that is my tribute, because that's Charlie Sheen's And that's Sheen's about, line. honestly, that is, we're the Boomer Broads. That is the only tribute that man deserves. We are jumping right into it, because... As PR hello? professionals, we have one hyphenated oh word to God. say to Charlie Sheen. Shut up! <laughs> Shut up! You are just not doing yourself a service. What would we do if we ever had a well, client like that? My God. You'd quit. You, like you his, cannot. Like his you PR cannot. person. Right. Exactly. And in case anybody in, in our audience missed it, Guess who's offering to do his PR for free? But not us, by the way. Spencer Pratt. How do you think he did with his wife and himself, huh? Well, the Spidey. Uh, with all due respect to Spencer Pratt, although they are, you know, total losers, etc., that man knows how to get PR. He has done nothing with his life. He has no career. He's never really had a job, and yet you read about him on a, in almost every magazine, oh, no, but in don't a you? mocking way. Yes, I mean, you don't respect him. But if you want straightforward PR to see your face, but honestly, I don't think Charlie Sheen needs PR. But I, he I, needs to go away. Like Gaddafi. He needs, He's he like needs Gaddafi. Help. The yeah, two of them. The two of them. And you t tell about the. Oh, yeah, you're going, we're going to post it on our Boomer Broad site. There's a fantastic little quiz that gives you 10 quotes, and okay, they ask wait, you to choose who said this, Gaddafi or Sheen. I only got five out of the 10 people, because they're both <laughs> lunatics. It could have gone either which way, and I literally was just throwing a dart, because they're both crazy. And how come we, and I'm like, I, I, from now, I'm get at the point where I don't even want to hear anymore. No more. And Please. Can, I no agree. And I am starting I'm to crazy. think, and then we'll move on after this, because we can't believe well, it. I want to quote the, but something I the think, Times said today. Um, I think the media is being irresponsible. I think shows like the Today Show and Good Morning America have to step back for a minute and say, as important as ratings are, this is they're not doing this guy a service. I know, but it's I don't think... It's enough. I don't, uh, TMZ is one thing, but the really legitimate news show should not be doing you know, this they anymore. They always do stuff like this, though. But it's wrong. It's help I this man and keep I think they're at the point, point the where, where when he calls again, to yeah. say, I'd like to explain myself further. Yeah, he's They're crazy. like, you know what? We'll shoot it. We'll have it in the can, but we're not airing it. Yeah, and we're not but promoting it. This is what um, Alessandra Stanley says in the New York Times today, which I thought was very interesting, <laughs> that Charlie Sheen is on a one-step program. He claims he's sober, but who, please. There must be a deeper explanation that he's just crazy. Uh, but it says um, he's in a one-step program to persuade themselves of their own powers of persuasion. In other words, he just keeps at it in the hopes that the more he talks, the more you're going to believe him. Mm. I read somewhere like from a shrink, be. which I, I think is it. what it sounds to me like this is. I don't think he is on drugs, I don't because I think he took a drug test, but they say that this is the behavior Classic. of the manic phase of a bipolar personality. Right. Well, he's clearly Yeah, bipolar. I mean, this guy is manic, manic. You can just see it. And oh. hello... Oh, Excuse me, entourage. Nanny Hor. I'm sorry, but you know. Nanny Hor and ex-wife. <laughs> well, and what he calls them goddesses. I love it. Okay, Charlie. All right. So the so boomer broads do so not something. salute you, Charlie. No, we do not. Get some help, honey. Get we, some help. It's quickly. I think it's too late for Charlie. And you know who else it's... needs help? James Franco. Yes. James Franco. What needs was up help. with him? Puffy, puffy. I mean, he could not wait to get home to his bond. That is quite obvious to me. He was like, ticky, ticky, tocky, tocky, because i got to get out of here. I am bored to tears with myself. Yeah, he, he, like, halfway into this thing was became dozing off fully in between. disinterested. <laughs> with He's like, is this still on? And it's their, been hours. Their you know? bold attempt to make it work didn't work. I like her. I think she's adorable. She I tried, think she's, although... The, she's not a hostess. No. She's not a hostess. She was like, you know, and here's Steven Spielberg. Woo! You know, it's like, what? It was like you were at a sporting event or something. She whooped for everybody. She was silly. Uh, speaking she of whoop, silly. Whoopi, was, Whoopi was talking about how oh, you, need a, you need a, a host. For, not a star, not a movie star, but you need somebody who's, you know, who can Johnny roll with Carson it. Johnny Carson was the quint to me, like a Billy Johnny. Billy was oh, good. he was great. He was, he was great. great. But I agree. You need someone who knows how to keep things going and be entertaining but not be the star of the show. Just keep it moving. Keep it fun. Keep it alive. The and energy fresh. here was nowhere. No, there was no energy. Oh, and I just think, you know, in deference to them, though, really the person, I don't even know who it is, and I apologize for not doing the research, whoever hired these two. ABC. Well, I mean, there must have been a producer who said, I have a great idea. Well, and, and Hathaway I and James Franco. And, and by the way, went, call yeah. me crazy. Why are they a great idea? Yeah. This is the best it, you could get? Well... Or maybe they're the only ones to say, say yes. yes. Although I think if they had gone to Spencer and Heidi, they might have said yes. <laughs> now there's a better idea. And we know Charlie, Charlie Sheen would have been yes. first in line Absolutely. for sure. Absolutely. Well, the whole on show the floor, was a debacle. 
Yeah, put them on the floor. No, except the for the winners. We like the winners. The winners. I was, you know, I don't like when the show has no surprises. Nothing. Well, they're now considering moving it a month earlier because everybody's preempting them. All the other, by yeah. the time they get to yeah, them, everyone's like, won, and you know up. Melissa Leo's going to win, and her F-bomb seemed planned. I didn't like her. I didn't like that whole Woke thing. Woke everybody up, though. Well, yeah, sure. <laughs> um, and I thought, so, I thought, you know, um, The King's Speech was a great movie, but it's a very safe yes. choice to me. It wasn't... I, the whole thing just felt safe and boring. Well, it they was lost a bad, audience. bad show. And I think next year is going to be interesting. I think they're going to have to shake things up a little yeah, bit. Yeah, they but, are. And while we're talking superficial, Your let's guess. get more superficial. No one does that better than us. So I hated her dress. Hated it. Hated yes. it. Yes. Yes. Hated it. Looked too. like a curtain to me. Love anything she does. I just love everything she does. Yeah, she looks. She's I don't beautiful. like this new color, the borscht. Of the borscht yeah, color. The borscht color. She was wearing it, and, like it. and was Scarlett Johansson there were, yes, wearing Scarlett Johansson was borscht. Wearing it. Come yeah. on. By the way, we're told 19 days till spring. Thus, the our our set designer, Beth, <laughs> who is you also did our a producer, beautiful job today with this pulled out the green. Cloth, Beth. Yeah, thank you so much. Yeah, 19 days to spring. <laughs> that is exciting. You uh, have no idea. Living in New England this winter. Oh, oh. yeah. Oh, you will not be able to. How hold many me back. days until baseball season opens? Well, let's see. April. Let's say April one. So about 30 days. Yay! I think I could do it. And then you'll see a complete change in our attitude. Yes. Gorgeous. Gorgeous. Love her. I like her hair broad I may have their to, best. What do you think? Should I get my hair cut to look like hers? I think you should, Anne Marie. Thank you, Janet. I wasn't asking you, actually. Oh. <laughs> I was asking our audience, but right. oh, then she's so magnificent. I won't answer. And the dress was so magnificent. She is classy. And she is, she is perfect. So That's is all. she, but not the do. I didn't like the yeah, do. Yeah, no. Got to get rid of the do. I like Sandra, her style, though. I love her style. I love her repartee on the on the floor with with the anchors. And when she was uh, announcing the uh, either best, I guess it was best Maybe actress. Maybe I dozed off. <laughs> oh, you really? Do you think uh, when she she had the right spirit? She was funny. She was up. It was just you realized watching her. This is the way everybody should be at the Oscars: light, happy, fun. She, that's yeah, it. and I didn't like her hairdo. Uh, she went like from one extreme at the Globes with the, with bangs, the bangs, yeah. That no, obviously was the talk of the town. Yes. To to a nothing do. Well, it was certainly a bun Academy Awards. It was a lot of buns. It was all about the buns. I buns. must Here's say. Here's another bun, and here are two other oh, buns. She's so pretty. She, she is, is drop dead gorgeous. This girl. She is gorgeous. She really is. I'm and sorry. I and I love the color of her gown. I think her gown was gorgeous. It was controversial. Well, yes. But it was gorgeous, and she is gorgeous. Mm -hmm. uh, and she was a nominee, and I, I it was a tough one because no, I thought she, she was not a nominee. She wasn't in my no. Kunis? No, she was not. She, oh. could, she certainly she could have been, been the Black Swan, but she was not. The Although black I thought Melissa Leo won, deserved to win. Oh, yes. And I'm sorry, Nicole, you need mm -hmm. a new, new dress designer because this doesn't do it for me. No, it's clamshellish. Anytime you see, oh, I'm surprised, and we'll have to Another show it. Another too. I, the one that really bemused me—is that the right word? Amused. What? Oh, okay. Okay, amused. amused. You can stick with amused. Why be bemused when you can be <laughs> amused? Uh, was Kate Blanchett with, yeah, with the, the thing. chest hole? Yeah. Why would People you love this though. So I know. Some shows know that not the best well, dress of all. I think we know I have no fashion sense, but still, a chest hole, even I. I don't know. Anyway. Anyway. And then. You have bigger um, things to talk about. Oh, I certainly do. The announcement today upset. of Dancing with the Stars, because people, <laughs> they're not these stars. Are, I mean, talk about meh and feh. These are just. Okay, Wendy Williams, she'll. They choose her because she'll be yapping it up on the talk show, and she's high personality and high energy. But that's it. They had to Nobody have else Kate has Gosselin, show. since Kate Gosselin was so huge, huge, so this year they went with Kendra Wilkinson. Who has a show also. I'm but. sorry. I'm bored. Sugar Ray Talking Leonard. Empty old, hands. Uh, I am sick of the old athletes. Sorry. I'm just sick of them. So you have Sugar did they Ray. Get? How, did they just, how did they land on a Sugar Ray? Ray. Sugar Ray. They, they Sugar found, Ray. well, I don't know. First of all, they were toying with Al Sharpton. Now that would have been <laughs> something to see, do I have to say. And um, I think he was toying with doing it, The too. candidate, oh, no, I can't believe I'm blanking out. And why do I not do research for this show? The candidate, Christine. Campbell? Or no. Christine, yes. You know who I'm yes. talking about, the Tea Party yes, woman, yes. but she said she had two left feet. She, now, those were at least compelling concepts. And instead, we have Chris Jericho. And who is Dancing Romeo? with the Stars. Romeo is a singer, like a little oh. black boy, I think. <laughs> little black boy. Uh, Chelsea Kane. Don't know. Is she a porn star? I'm sorry, <laughs> Chelsea. You sound like a porn star. <laughs> Petra Nemkova. 
I, I know Petra. Does she play tennis? No, no. She's a model. She's a model. She's the one who who was in the um, title. The tsunami. The, the tsunami. The tsunami. The, the tsunami. Yeah. Yes, I do remember her, and she's obviously back. <laughs> she's obviously recovered. My Catherwood. Anybody? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, really, this is Dancing with the Stars. I don't think it's they're going to have a good run this season. The Again, Too thumbs bad. down from the Boomer Bros. Terribly sorry. Sorry. Thumbs down. Ask okay. us next time. Hmm? Yeah, yeah. Ask us to be on the show. That's what I mean. Oh, would you do it? Oh, hell no. <laughs> I'd like to be asked, though. <laughs> <laughs> Just so you can say no? Just so you can say no. Exactly. Well, it's a short show this week. That's all good. I'm sure everybody's very appreciative. Did anybody learn how to make sushi from our last show? I've gotten quite a bit of feedback I from that. that. I actually think I did some of that. Really, all I did was cut <laughs> that it. sushi. He, 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 he really it. didn't let me touch it, did he? No. No. He no. Just I think I was he, he knew be, better. Yes, he did. You're supposed to have another cooking lesson coming up, and you're bagging it. Well, no, I'm getting it. We're going to do it. Don't you worry. Don't you worry. And we'll bring the cameras to that one. It'll be riveting. See you soon. <laughs>